It's been one of those weeks in the news that I don't think you need me to remind you of. In a time when everything seems to be going wrong, it's important to stop, take a breath, log out of Facebook before you start the next argument, and remember that there is some good left in the world. Let's take a look. After seven years of trying and two miscarriages, Kristen W. and her husband finally had their first daughter on the 17th, and she is doing very well. Samuel S. has recovered from a brain injury and recently come out of a medically induced coma. He is currently crushing it in therapy right now. Keep it up, Sam. Forrest M. just completed two full weeks of sobriety and I've never been more proud. Keep moving forward, Forrest. Only good days ahead. Even the bad ones. In an incredible feat of the limits of the human body and spirit, Jeff W. has completed a 10,000 mile motorcycle ride along the way raising over $25,000 for Duchesne Muscular Dystrophy Charity. Keep on riding, Jeff. We all appreciate you. Janine J. just got accepted to college. Erin B. finished her first week of dental assistant school. And Amber B. has an autistic son that started his first education-focused special ed class. And they are all thriving. While we're on the topic, big shout out to all the teachers, students, and parents who are getting through this school year one day at a time. Teachers, you are the real MVPs and we will forever appreciate you. The Pine Gulch fire in Colorado is 77% contained and probably higher by the time this video comes out. On top of that, linemen are already on site in Louisiana to start rebuilding and recovering after Hurricane Laura. Have you not already found out? Don't mess with the Cajun Navy. Voting is one of the best ways in America to make sure your voice is heard. And <laughs> thanks to NBA players, many more people will now get that opportunity as the NBA has agreed to turn arenas into polling places in November. If you know anything about where these arenas usually are, then you know that this is big news for a lot of people who are most frequently targets of disenfranchisement by voting laws and regulations. I cannot wait to hear your voice. Last but not least, in one of the best stories of 2020, U.S. Marshals have rescued 39 kids in a sex trafficking sting in Georgia. What a way to end the week. In the midst of a chaotic time in one of the craziest years we've ever had, I want to leave you this week with some great words from a great man. I think you realize how much you need to have people that you love. It's not as much about them loving you. It's about you needing to love people. Love some people this week.